Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. For more information about the full line of Case IH equipment and how you can boost your productivity, visit CaseIH.com. Case IH, for those who demand more. When it comes to manure application, whether you're set up to handle your own manure or you have to hire somebody to do it, you need to understand the basics to get the most out of those nutrients we'll explain in today's Iron Talk. In most cases, manure contains the full gamut of nutrients from N, P, and K to sulfur and micronutrients. But the ones that we're most concerned about on our farm whenever we're talking about manure application are phosphorus and potassium. In most cases, phosphorus and potassium will only move down in soils one eighth to one quarter inch through normal weather throughout the year. So if you want phosphorus and potassium to move down six or eight or 10 inches deep in your soil where a majority of your roots are, it's gonna take 20 or 30 years for nature to move those nutrients down. So with manure application, it's important to get it below the surface of the ground. When you're applying dry manure, tilling it deep in the soil is a good thing. With liquid manure though, it's very important that it's injected deep in the soil, not only to contain the odor, but also to keep all the nitrogen that could get away in the form of ammonia gas. So to keep all your nutrients where you want them and to put the P and K down deep in the soil, we recommend injecting as deep as you can. For most custom applicators, that means six, eight, maybe 10 inch deep injection. It really comes down to what type of tractor you have to pull that manure applicator. Are you going to get enough traction? Do you have plenty of horsepower, especially if you're tilling things deep? For us, we like to use a Zone Commander, a four shank machine that requires about 200 horsepower to pull. Then we'll put on some manure through a hose, but if we have to pull a tank behind, we'll need even more horsepower. The big thing though is just to get it deep. Now, if you've got the top six or 12 inches of your soil getting up there with P and K where you say, boy, my soil tests show that I'm pretty high, look down a little bit deeper from 12 to 24 inches our soils have much less fertility and could certainly benefit from applied nutrients deeper in the profile. That's it for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.